All right, guys, we are back on Master Podcast. Welcome to the show. Wait, wait, Welcome. wait. Before we start, Whoa. we were rolling for 15 minutes. No, it was no, great no, conversation. No, no. It was yeah. great conversation. Before Julian does his class intro, we were rolling for 15 minutes. Nick, you know, poor guy, hasn't slept, busy guy, Yeah. student, working hard, entrepreneur, producer, all this stuff. He, he, he's like, guys, guys. I, I didn't hit record. I did. You should have seen. You should have seen the look on Julian's face. face. You should, oh, the look at. Defeat, but look like, at the feet. That, was like, that was pretty good. But that's man. such a classic unmastered thing, though. Yeah, we're not for there to be man. something. Wrong. <laughs> There's always something there, no matter what, is always something wrong. Yeah. Whether you need, whether you guys notice it or not. not- <laughs> There's always something behind the scenes that gets yeah. kind of. Uh, but to, let up. them know what they should do, though. But yeah, guys, before we get going, uh, make sure you guys leave a like on this video, leave a comment, subscribe. You know, follow us on Spotify, follow us on Apple, leave a five star review if you like the pod, and most importantly, follow Unmastered. You know what? I'm excited for this pod. <laughs> Who's the guest? Let them know. Let's run it. So, for today's episode of the Unmastered podcast, our guest is an artist. He started his journey back in 2021, creating cool and unique designs. He's done multiple giveaways on his page and has been making art pieces almost every day. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Julian Jens, aka Anti Antiquated. Welcome. There Absolutely class it. intro. You know? <laughs> Suitable enough. for a guy like me. You know? yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the sunglasses on. My yeah. aura is just too bright. It's protective. Yeah. Shades oh, on you know. today, man. Because yeah. like, we're just here to have a you know silly goose time. Yeah, you know okay. the, 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 the weather is actually pretty nice today too. You know, yeah, it's like twelve degrees day. here in Toronto. It's beautiful. Beautiful. But uh, yeah, seasonal depression. No more. Exactly. No. Exactly. So we got this little. Oh, we yeah. got this beautiful fucking Ooh, painting behind look us at right that here, thing, guys. Man. Made by this gentleman right here. Let Allegedly, maybe it's a Dali two image. Hey, it could be, yeah, 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 yeah. could be, could be ChatGPT <laughs> yeah, yeah. these days. But uh, yeah, let us know, man. What what is this painting we have behind us? It's yeah. a painting for the GTA's up and coming best podcast. Whoa! The pod, I, heard there I say, you know, yeah. these guys are on the come up, doing great things. So you know, I my art needs to be a part of that. I need to help in the best way I can. Yep. I need to assist these these two solid gents. And uh, John Luca is not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know. Doing what I like to think I do best, and that's making wild doodle art canvases. And uh, you know, I'm here. This is this right here is a spectacle. That's yeah. the goal. Yeah, with it definitely it. is to yeah. make a blockbuster canvas this for is, a blockbuster show. Yeah, you thank yeah. you so you much, see the man. Top right's got a master pod. There's a master. Yeah, pod there's all there. little details little if you guys details, see. Goals, if, well, we can zoom it in maybe later, but you can see it says on Mastered Podcast Podcast Studio. Yeah. You know, got some cool little Easter eggs in there. It's it's very very dope, and uh, we appreciate it a lot, man. Yeah. Didn't disappoint. It's definitely going to go right there. We're going to take that piece off right there, yeah. put that. It'll be on the next yeah. few podcasts mm-hmm. to come. Um, Very cool stuff, yeah, man. It's awesome. He stuck to the theme, you know, yellow, white, black. That's our colors. I tried with um, the black, but it didn't look good. I had to repaint over it, you know. Oh, okay. Now this pops. Yeah. People are going to yeah. see but it. How long did that piece take you to make, dude? It's a crazy. long time. Damn. A while. But also, <laughs> like, on and off, you know, I get carried away. Oh, I got an assignment. Focus on that. Mm. Oh, I got to walk the dog. Okay. Yeah. So I'll be working on it. The flow's broken. So... On and off, it, yeah. it, like total duration, mm. I don't know, maybe upwards of like eight hours. Wow. Have dude. you ever done like a whole piece like straight? Like Yeah, straight? yeah. One time during reading week in like November, November's are always like, I don't know, they just yeah. rough months. <laughs> so, and I was just like stressed out. I had a trip with my dad the next day. We were going to BC. So I was like, you know what? It was a goal for me to do this canvas. I just need to get it done. I need the content. I need like... A, art i need a portfolio piece i need something cool i need something uh, i need a spectacle i need something box office yeah. so I, I was just came back from dinner with a buddy and like uh my family we ca- i come back the piece is like halfway done i was working on it for like three hours already the next three hours was just grinding on that piece i think it's co- i called it no love in the wild it's the white and black piece um 36 by 36 not the ghost town one like the post with the brick walls but the other one mm-hmm. It's, I believe I called it No Love in the Wild. I don't know. Sometimes I repeat titles, so I forget what I named it. But that one I did in the span of a night just because I, I, I wanted to have something cool. I wanted to make something big. Yeah. And uh, when did you whole, start this whole kind of art stuff? Like, yeah, like how journey. did you start? How did yeah. you get into it? I mean, I started in 2020. Uh, pandemic, classic. Mm-hmm. I'm sure everybody classic can relate pandemic. to that, trying to yeah. find something to do during the yeah. pandemic. Yeah. Um, 
I, I just had this like doodle book uh, that I would do in like philosophy class or religion class at the time where uh, when things were like, when you know, you're not really doing a lot in these classes. I would just doodle. And I had like these full page of doodles. I think it was like Post Malone's face mixed with like some ghosts and like yeah. some weird stuff. And I was like, what if I did that like dense doodle style on like a piece of wood? Mm. So initially it started on like a piece of wood. Mm. And then that carried over to me doing art for a podcast I had at the time, like making the cover art for that, mm -hmm. uh, doing like these weird monster doodles. Also, like, I'm not going to lie, like heavily being influenced by like stuff I saw online, like Pinterest art, like trippy stuff like that and translating that into my own style. Um, and then doing that for my podcast art style. And then that became canvases. And then I was fortunate enough to get a drawing tablet for my 16th birthday. And then that became like, OK, now I can make digital art. Oh, mm -hmm. So it's been a slow process to where I am now. Yeah, you mentioned a, a podcast used to have. Yeah, I know something about yeah. podcasts. Yeah, yeah, you know a little sure. bit about it, eh? I, we, I used to I've watch the my podcast. Toes we, we, yeah, it's not week. around anymore. CFMY, right? CFY. Conversation CFY. from yesterday. Conversations. I don't know why I keep adding the, the M there. It's right. um, Unmastered. You yeah, know, you know it. Um, so <laughs> yeah. tell us about that. Like, what was that podcast about? You know, the vibes you had and then how it kind of led you to the art that you make mm -hmm. now. Yeah. So... The catchphrase I came up with for that show was I called it the world's greatest hangout show because oh, that's, that's like that's a sick catchphrase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's what I called it. Uh, just because that's what it was. It was a hang. Yeah, I would just yeah. find people. I'd like sit and we would just like talk over Zoom for an hour and a half, two hours. I think the longest one I did was like two hours fifty minutes, and it was just banter and some of the some of the stuff was like contentious topics during COVID. A lot of stuff went down in the world. I'm sure everybody knows. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> So yeah, it was just like rambling, basically, like coherent rambling, I would like to call it. Mm -hmm. um, or it'd be just anything from like politics to Minecraft to uh, yeah. YouTube videos you watch that day, just a hangout show, just people like casually talking. Yeah. And I would have a lot of creatives on. Um, I had a lot of uh, comedians from LA because, you know, I was just interested in Los Angeles at the time mm -hmm. for some reason, yeah. shades, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, so I had a lot of comedians on from uh, Los Angeles, a lot of musicians like up and coming from like the US basically I had one from Atlanta mm -hmm. um come on and it, and it was just like hanging out talking about your creative passions what you want to do with your life and just the regularness of everyday life and mm -hmm. that was or life at the time which wasn't so regular and that was the show for about I ran it from like mid 2020 to like July of 2021 and then I just said to myself like my heart's not in it and I'm only interested in doing things that I give 100% 100% of myself to so I'm like it's best that it just, we wrap it up here or I wrap it up here. Um, and also you're talking for two hours, like I'm 15, yeah. 16 at the time. Yeah. You're talking for two hours, multiple times a week. You know, eventually those conversations don't start to represent you in the way you care to be represented. because yeah, how much can you really know yeah, at 15 at that years age, old? Nothing. Like how much yeah. can you really bring to the table? You know, I'm sure there's 15 year olds that kind of know some stuff, but let's be real here. Like who's listening to that for Especially that long? For two right? hours. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it definitely makes it a little bit harder for sure. So mm -hmm. then you, you realize it wasn't for you. Right. And then at what yeah. point were you like, okay, now instead of doing that, I want to do art, you know? Well, it wasn't like that linear of a process. I just, okay. I like, there was always like, I, I switched the style of my podcast, like the art style and the vibe of it. I, I moved from like this trippy low key vibe to, I tried to make it super professional. I had a buzz cut at the time. Right. Yeah. Suit on. Sorry, I have Ajita from breakfast. I'm like trying to keep <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to like keep it composed. I was like, where's, before I left the house, I'm like, where are the Tums? Uh, there's no Tums. So I'm just bear with me here. Yeah, yeah. Bear with me here. Um, so I'm like, so I'm like, I'm wearing a blazer. I have, uh, you know, my shirt. I'm like trying to be all professional with my buzz cut. And I just, the vibe of the show changed. And I was just, it just didn't represent me. So then afterwards, the podcast dies down. I'm like, okay. I miss doing the art stuff. I miss having that be like a mainstay. And at the time I was still doing small canvases from here to here, uh, here and there, like uh, the Michaels, like uh, small little mm. canvases, yeah, the yeah, value yeah. packs, I would work on those. Um, one of which is still like one of my favorite pieces, this yellow one. I don't even know if it's up on my Instagram. Maybe I'll post it. Maybe I won't. But mm. I, I was like doing canvases on and off. And then uh, during like grade 12, uh, like the start of grade 12, the art like picked up again for me and I did like these charity stickers where I designed like this this bear I called Bobo the Bear was like this skull head with a with like a teddy bear body with a heart in the middle and then that was the start of what like got me back into making art those stickers sold well the money was donated to Covenant House and Sick Kids for Christmas That's nice, man. and uh 
that was just like, okay, now I'm fully back into art. Yeah. Um, and, and from there, you know, it's been building to this. I, I throughout the start of this year, I would do daily posts, right. but then at 80, um, like a week and a bit ago, I just stopped. Cause I was like, I'm oversaturating myself. Mm. The, the engagement's going down. My interest in this is going down. I, I don't want art to be a stressful thing for me. I don't want it to be something that makes me feel miserable. So I'm like, okay, let's take a little bit of time off, reset the creative juices and come back with, you know, some fury, hey, some sometimes artistic that's what you fury. Need, man. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you need to take a break. You know, for me uh, with making music and stuff, I, I took pretty much the first two months of the 2023 year off. I made like maybe a couple <clears throat> beats here and there. But as of lately, you know, after that break, I've been just making the stuff, right? Yeah. Making a lot of beats, making a lot of music. And I think it's better in a way. Like you yeah. kind of learn from all those mistakes. You learn from all the things you kind of wish you did differently. Yeah. And then you come back with a fresh lens. So you can probably say the same for your art or uh, you s assume like when mm -hmm. you come back to it, it'll be a little bit better. Yeah. That's like, and also approaching canvases differently. Like I'm interested in doing some mixed media stuff with the canvases. Right. I do a lot of digital art. I do yeah. a lot of like, I play with like surrealism in my digital art that I can't really translate to uh, the doodle art right now. So I want to, introduce mixed media to that because I think that would take it to the next level and you know I have school right now that's a main my main priority yeah. I want to excel in that I want to be excellent at that so that so is are you are you in like university yeah where do you go uh, we'll say oh well, you don't want to you don't want to mention no let's just I mean if, if people are really interested in finding they can find out yeah it's sure not, yeah right. what, let's course, just, what course you take yeah what course that's what I kind of meant yeah, yeah okay okay yeah at a let's major see. school in the greater Toronto area. Okay, 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 cool, cool. Yeah. So is that something that you kind of want to do as a career, like architecture, or do you want to follow the, the art or kind of whatever I mean, pans out for you? I'm going to give everything my all and let's see where it takes me. I don't like to speak in, like life is so delicate, you know, it's hard to, like you never know what's going to happen. Right. Maybe architecture, design, or like, who knows, maybe I, I, I want to build a chair during the summer, like my own chair. Every major architect has like a chair. Maybe that's the <laughs> thing, yeah. you know, but right now, Art is on my mind and I want to excel at that. And also like, I, I want to be great at architecture. So I really don't know, but it's, a cool it's, mix, it's though, for sure. design and just the, the practice of being creative is what I believe is going to carry me forward in life. Architecture is like the skeleton of like houses and stuff, right? Like all that stuff. Well, just or what is the it? design of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Plan, make design plan sections, elevations for buildings. Mm -hmm. Um, Right now I'm working a lot with like making 3D models of buildings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can see like even in this painting, there is yeah. definitely yeah. some 3D elements see. there. These are like, uh, I guess you can call them, uh, I don't even, I forgot what the uh, they're, they're term They're little is. characters. They're like, uh, they're like elevational part. obliques or something. Oh, I guess. okay. There's like a very specific <laughs> Yeah, like the, I forgot the term of the drawing. <laughs> yeah. I'm blanking. I, I, oh, damn, it's, that's it's a professional obliques. But that's yeah, it's like the, the front of it is... Uh, maintained and then everything else is shifted to a 45 degree angle like the back of it uh, okay because yeah, it is from yeah, an yeah, angle yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. it's almost it's not so much an iso it's more of like i, I believe it's called an elevational oh yeah because it, it's definitely coming yeah. from a point right yeah that's cool i'm gonna right, get right. crap i'm gonna look back all the art people you know those like, moments yeah. that you're just like Damn, yeah. stick with you <laughs> yeah because like, you're, you're yeah. gonna know what it is after yeah, yeah. This pod. like right yeah, after yeah, i'm just yeah. blanking right now because <laughs> i got sounds a million right. things going uh, on what was it occupational oblique elevation okay. elevation <laughs> oblique. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> running yeah, on low yeah, sleep yeah. this guy yeah yeah <laughs> horrible yeah. man um but yeah dude i mean um, i don't even know the name of it off the dome but see, yeah. there you go i'll see because right now know. it's like that was more last semester's work so okay yeah yeah so what about the little oh sorry go ahead i noticed your shirt as well so you also like make t-shirt designs yeah you do the clothing that's haven't it. been as diligent as I should be with that, but mm -hmm. the summer, you know, I had an idea Coming of like going to like a major plaza in like Vaughn or something and just like yeah, posting sure. up on social media, like selling t-shirts out of a Fire. van yeah, <laughs> right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Sell them at a discount, show up if you want to. If you don't, that's on you. Cool. And just all my designs. Uh, I'm going to do Vaughn Con again this year. So that'll be cool. I'll be selling all my merch there. That's like, that's a thing. Canvases. I didn't, I didn't even know that yeah, was a thing. Yeah, it was a thing last year. It's a, shout out to Vaughn Con. Yo, shout yeah, out to Vaughn Con. Shout out to yeah, maybe whoever we'll look into that. that. Too. <laughs> hey, yeah, for sure. What, yeah. what is that? It's just like it's a like, convention? Yeah, it's like a small little. It's it's, it's building. Little. It's little. It's a, little. <laughs> it's a quote, Julian. Yeah. It's a small, like, like comic booky, nerdy oh, okay, convention. Okay, 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 last okay. year I went there. I went to go like sell my art and my t-shirts and I did fairly well and I want to build on that. Uh, Fire, dude. Very I cool. want to build on that success from last year. 
So I wanted to kind of get into the paintings, art um, analysis, time. like like the the characters and like the little things. Like, does that have any meaning to you? Like, do the individual, like for example, like that skull with the heart broken, or any of these other little things, do they have a meaning to you, or is it just random? Um, some of it is random. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. A lot of it is just informed by like a snap, like being a snapshot of my mind in the moment, right. like getting all like that chaotic energy and yeah, just putting yeah. it onto a canvas just right there. And then, you know, sometimes it's like, okay, at this point in my life, this symbol means something to me now. Mm-hmm. Like they're kind of, you know, the skull is something that everybody has. It's like a stripped down self portrait. Everybody's got a skull. Yeah. You know right, what I mean? Right, right, it's right. kind of like this very bare bones representation of a person at their most vulnerable. Yeah. Is there like a Just genre or like word to describe your type of art or your style? You, you can like? call it doodle art, pop art. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very I don't cool. know, new school stuff. That's why it's anti antiquated. Yeah, you know, yeah. Where where that name awesome. come yeah, from? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was, I don't know. I was just like kind of like a. I don't know if you can call it a play on words, but it was a name. I just sometimes names pop into my head. Like I have a photography account, Tungsten Rising. Mm-hmm. Kind of a goofy name, but like it just pops into my head. Usually when I'm at work, mm-hmm. I'm just like <laughs> it'll pop into my head. I'm like okay. Now, now that's the name of something. Anti-antiquated is like, okay, you take the anti from it, from antiquated, and you just put it in front, and then it's like a double negative. Yeah. So now it means uh, like new school, basically, mm-hmm. anti-antiquated, like a rejection of the old. Oh, that's, that's fire. Yeah. I like Because antiquated is not, it's kind of an, I've been accused many times in my life of speaking like an old person and mm-hmm. using uh. big words. <laughs> so it's also almost a play on that. But yeah, yeah it's just having fun with words. Type of thing. Yeah. Are there like any cool. artists that you look up to or inspire uh, to make your work, or, or is it just all just authentic you? I, feel I like mean, I no, you can't. It's, you can't be authentic and not be inspired by other people. For I sure, think for not sure, to like. Sure. No, no, I'm no, not no, just no. like as a general statement. Um, yeah, I have a ton of artists that inspire me. Most definitely, like it's just constant. There's so many. Even on my feed, every day, I'm like, I get. Uh, like imposter syndrome. I'm like, I can never do that. All the stuff I see on my page is like, oh my shitty little shouldn't uh, you guys yeah, that's yeah digital footprint <laughs> yeah. oopsies i've been professional for most of the episode oh trust uh, me we've had way worse <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. uh i'm like who's gonna respect my you know little little doodle art when people are making masterpieces every day but i mean yeah. off the top of my head initially keith herring and basquiat like the two pop art like modern like 80s art icons those mm-hmm. like really drove my creative process at the start of it when my art was less refined I feel like now I almost want to go back to that less refined uh, school of thought when making art because I feel like this has become too polished and like almost too repetitive to a sense. So I want to, that's why the break is good. I'm like reapproaching canvases. Yeah. Um, but in terms of art inspiration, Anthony Ricciardi right now, um, like shout out to that guy. I've, I, I'm not sure if you're familiar. Um, mm-hmm. He's like a huge artist based in the GTA He's worked, he's had like installations in Yorkdale. I was, he's just a good guy. I was fortunate enough to go to his studio at the start of the year um, on like a chance encounter, which was cool. Um, He's just like, he makes blockbusters when he approaches a canvas. And it's not like the most overly complex or like thematically dense, not a knock on the guy. It's like this really pretty succinct artwork. And every time he approaches a canvas, it's like a spectacle. And I really like respect that about his art. Mm -hmm. In terms of other artists, I like this artist, Ricardo Cavolo. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. No. Have you ever been to like VMC, the station? Mm, you know no. the, no? Oh, Von Metro. Von, Von, oh, Von, Von Metro, Metro. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't shout know out, why. We don't know Shout out to things, VMC. Right? Yeah. Um, you know, TTC, great great time to be on oh, the TTC these days. Oh, we got great days. stories yeah, there, yeah. man. Uh, but you know the mural like on the old abandoned building beside Von Metropolitan Center? Um, yeah, I think so. That was yeah. designed by Ricardo Covolo. Oh, like that yeah. surreal doodle art style. I really like that. Um... And like those are the like Ricardo Cavolo, I really, really appreciate his work. I'm blanking on other names right now. I'm not gonna be honest, but Keith Herring, that pop art doodle art style really like got me into making art. Like I have a Keith Herring book in my room that I reference. Fiona Smythe, she's really cool. Cool. Sick. Yeah, she did the exterior for Sneaky D's downtown, the yeah, restaurant. I'm not sure if you're familiar. But yeah. So those are, there's this guy. I don't wanna mess up his name. On Instagram, like I just started following him recently. I think his name is like Michael Osterholm or something like that. Okay. I'm not, I might be butchering the name, but um, yeah. And I, again, butchering the names. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, like doodle art is like doodle art adjacent artists, pop art, that whole scene 
um, is what like inspires my creative process. And also like, I think an important side of inspiration is like taking inspiration from things that aren't directly related to your subject. Mm -hmm. Like you can get inspiration from music. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like, um, just like Tyler, the creator. I really appreciate that guy's creative process. And like that, you could draw from that energy, yeah. right? It doesn't always have to be just like a canvas. It's or just the a aesthetic, right? Overall, like you can kind of draw from. Yeah, just like people who curate really interesting vibes uh, right, regarding right, their right, work. Right. People who are passionate about their work. When you see that and when you're inspired by that, you feed on that energy and you create really incredible stuff. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, I'd like to think that I do that with my canvases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah. How many um, yeah. art pieces would you say you've made in total, whether it's like like on the computer, like digitally or like canvases? Like um, a lot. Mm -hmm. I could be making more. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. But, you know. You could always be making more. You could always be doing more. <laughs> Yeah. Um, this agit is killing me. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, sponsored by Tums. Uh, you guys go to ad break. You should uh, <laughs> sponsored by Tums. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for real. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm blanking on the question. How many pieces have I made? I mean, yeah. this year with digital art, there's been 80 pieces, unique digital art pieces. Um, canvases this year, I've done three big canvases. And then I did one for the giveaway. So that's four canvases this year. Last year, I don't even know. Um, a lot. There's been a lot. And mm -hmm. if it's not that, then it's like little baby sticker designs that I would do. That I made like a ton of them last year, like two a night, just making like alligator, like doodle alligator stickers, um, like lion stickers, skull stickers. You could, those are up on my Instagram, I think, under like the doodles or demos highlight. I forgot. But yeah, if it's not that, then I'm drawing in my sketchbook. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, what can I come up with today that's funky and weird and that people will like, yeah. that I will like above all. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just always, I, I can't even put a number on it, but it could always be more. That's what, yeah. if if yeah. I give you an answer, that's the answer. It could always be more. Hey, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you have like a favorite art piece you've made? Maybe if you, well, you could send us a picture after we could show the people. But like, I like, got two. That No Love in the Wild one that I was just like stressed out. It was a bad, like bad week. Not... Like no, last November was like a kind of a crappy month, but that piece was like something good that came out of the crappiness. Mm -hmm. That piece I really like. There's this yellow canvas. I forgot what I named it. Maybe Wastelander after like the Brent Fires album. I was like Wasteland. That's a hard title. Let's call this. <laughs> yeah. So um, there's that yellow piece. I like the. I forgot what I call. You might have seen it on the Instagram. The multicolor like 36 by 48 oh, huge like just skull I think print. I've seen that one yeah. Just, uh, I think I called it Lost Souls or something corny. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that uh, one I really liked because it was just playing with colors. It was fun. Did it over the Christmas break. It was nice and chill. Every day I would chip away at it till it was finally done. That's dope. Yeah. So like, do you find, like, do you go and make these art pieces? Let's say like artists, for example, they, they're, they're sad about something and they result to like taking it out by making music about like a sad song or something like for you example if you're like have a situation yeah. or you're in your head or you like mm -hmm. taking it out on like painting or something like that like drawing yeah I've, I've definitely been uh friend zoned one yeah. time and was like okay. oh man just put on marvin's room by drake and i'm like <laughs> I'm, I'm about to make a masterpiece yeah, yeah i've definitely done that and there's been times where i've just been like agitated and i'm like okay this is represents my agitation right now yeah. yeah there's always like emotion emotion drives almost like everything in life yeah. It's very hard to like detach yourself from emotion in life, you know? I'm mm -hmm. sure you guys can relate to that. Yeah, definitely. Sure. You know, yeah. I don't know. You make the you make music, right? You know, yeah, yeah, you just wanna get in the stew and like I'm I'm here to prove a point. Well yeah, yeah the best stuff I think um harnesses that emotion, right? Like I think if you just go and make random things, that might be cool. You might have a cool idea that might just come about. But I think, you know, having that emotional reference point mm -hmm. can definitely lead to something that's a little bit more i guess has an intention behind it yeah, yeah. and can help you focus a little bit more on what you yeah. want and also is a form of expression for yourself right right mm -hmm. so you feel better the people feel better because it looks cool yeah. yeah and it's not just this random thing hey and the random things could be cool too yeah. yeah but i think definitely having that kind of reference point for artists out there mm -hmm. music art podcast have a little bit of you know, you your find, emotion. You find you do that yourself with like beats? Yeah, I find like when I have no inspiration, it's usually when I have nothing kind of 
going on in my life to like draw from. Mm -hmm. And then you mentioned, you know, like Tyler, the creator and like, you you know, using other people as like an inspiration. But I I mean, there's a big artist that like really like inspired me. Who's not very, uh, I'm sure everybody knows the name, a very famous musical artist who really had a fall from grace really hard. Yeah. 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 Not to condone what he's saying. Yeah. Very (laughs) wild things. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's bipolar, right? Yeah. Um, But yeah, that like, I'm not going to lie, listening to Life of Pablo like in 2021, late 2021, and then just like using that into, you know, hindsight 2020. I know mm-hmm. nobody likes the guy now, understandably so, but um, yeah. You want to get into Kanye a little bit? No, 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 no. That's, uh, that's, uh, okay. Okay. that's opening up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that was, uh, well, I was my favorite artist. I don't, I, I, I mean, would, like. Yeah. It opens up a conversation of like detaching the art from the artist, but I think that's been like spoken to the ground. I think, you know, Matt Healy, the 1975, he's like, art's not worth hurting people or something along the lines. I don't know. I saw that on TikTok and I thought Mm -hmm. that was a very like fitting quote to describe Kanye's situation. Like art's not worth hurting people. And it's just like cross a line at some point. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. Definitely what he said was not right. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Like I would listen to... I don't know. I just put on like dark fantasy by Kanye and, or like real friends. I'll be like, nobody gets me. And I'm like, okay, now, now let's make a, now let's make design a cool sticker. Let's yeah. design something really emotional. Yeah. 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 Fire, but yeah. I'm speaking back to like the whole thing about like finding inspiration to like create something. I think that's like the best feeling though. Like it's when you're inspired when you have that, and like yeah. you have that drive. It's like you go in the studio or whatever and you can make something like sick and something you enjoy right, making, yeah. right? Like it's when it's forceful, it's like not fun. It's just like, okay, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just here, like I'm making a song, but like it's, there's nothing to go with it. Like it's, but it is a good feeling. Yeah, it's like Same with like podcasting yeah. as well. Like, like it's always great coming on the pod, you know, we enjoy doing it. Um, yeah. Or even just, it doesn't have to be like raw like sadness or something like yeah. this podcast it's been on my mind I, like i have bits that i want to do or yeah, yeah, you know mm-hmm. i've been thinking about it so it's like just that built up pent up energy it's actually just killing me <laughs> <laughs> this is the running gag this is the running yeah, gag of the that. episode yeah, i'm that. like trying to like put out this eloquent <laughs> thought and then it's just like <laughs> it's, it's the most italian way to go about uh, a podcast so speaking of italian so your background's italian i mean um, it's very like Vaughn Italian. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. I can't really claim Italy. Like, <laughs> yeah. I've never even. You can't claim Italy? Italy bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If bro. You come on a podcast, you can't claim bro. Italy, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah, I can't. It's not like I am. I am. Yeah. Love and respect to, you know, my grandparents and stuff. But right. I was born here at the end of the day. I do like carry that a part of me, but, you know. Yeah. Just, just quickly, um, best bakery in the GTA, Italian <laughs> bakery. <laughs> Couldn't even. I don't know. I'm not a bakery aficionado. Like if you like, even. you know, you have St. Phillips. Okay, got, yes, like, that's Maple that's Bake. an easy answer. Yeah. St. Phillips. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. that's like general enough where it's like not right by my house. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so respect to St. Phillips. I don't know. I'm not. Those uh, police though. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Sandra Sepp just passed. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like after a while, you get it's too much. After like yeah, even, like three days in a row, it's like oh, it's like too much. How many days are you gonna eat a Zeppeli in a row, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta visit both sides of the family, whatever. Right? So, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're approaching a little break here. So okay, sponsored by Tom's. We'll be back. I always in, uh, eat the cherries. The Yachito goes away. That artist, Michael Osterholm, that's an American epidemiologist. We're talking about COVID, so maybe that's why I was in my head. The True. guy I'm inspired by, his name is his Instagram his Instagram handle is Melcher Eastman. It's no, so his name is Melcher Oosterman. So I wasn't even close. Wow. So that's on me. Shout out to Melcher. Shout out Michael Osterholm. I was so worried that that was like a controversial name. Thank God it's just a, <laughs> so an it's epidemiologist. Michael Osterholm? No, no, that's no. the epidemiologist. Mel- the, What's his name? M- Michael Melcher Oosterman. Oosterman. So Melcher, you're Melcher the next the pod. Oosterman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, I think Melcher, he lives in like Wales this? or something. I don't uh, even know where he lives, but yeah. Fuck. Love yeah. me some Wales. <laughs> yeah. And then... Uh, but I yeah. know that drawing will fact check a later time the name of it, but yeah. We're back, guys. The next segment here, sponsored by Achito. What? <laughs> Is that like a new brand you created? Yeah, we oh shit, your phone there, but whatever, it's fine. Um, <laughs> but uh yeah, dude. So what what do we want to get into, guys, here? 
I mean, going into some. That's a classic that's segue really, yeah. that you'd do. Yeah, that's really <laughs> what do we want to get into transition. here? I don't know. Tonight's so WrestleMania. Wanna, it's April tonight's WrestleMania. Tonight's WrestleMania. It's WrestleMania. I saw Whoa. you guys got the, the we Daniel got the WWE Bryan. chairs. I, I've never, I've never got one of those. Pick it up and chairs. fucking smash yeah, 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 yeah. it. <laughs> we all just start fighting, slam on the table. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, the first like, yeah, yeah, interactive WrestleMania, man. So what's like the biggest fight? I know tonight's night one. What Teddy Biazzi, no? <laughs> no. I mean, the, I heard John the, Cena's back, right? John Cena's back. Night one tonight. This is gonna come out. I don't know when, so this is gonna age. Yeah. So my prediction right now, my prediction right now for this very uh, legitimate sports league is uh, that I hold very dear to my heart. Mm-hmm. Um, is uh, I would Roman I think, Reigns. No, I think Austin Theory is gonna get the win tonight. They gotta give that guy a push. Ooh, you know? John Cena is gonna lose. You can't this, see me. This is not yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah, relevant yeah. by you the can't time see this him in a week because he's gonna be in Hollywood. He's not gonna be in the. We're WWE cutting this yeah. Yeah. No, no, we can't cut this. Yeah, but leave it's, it. It's WrestleMania talk. But by the time it comes out, let's let's see how good I am at like gauging. Can you bet on on WWE? No, they tried to do that, but that's a ridiculous idea, and that's just I don't know. It almost makes it like it's um premeditated. It's predetermined. Yeah, scripted. Yeah, it's scripted entertainment. You can't do that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. What about the gentleman Logan Paul? How do you feel about being a WWE fan? I'm assuming. How do you feel about these celebrities, influencers coming in and getting these popular fights and all that stuff? How do you being in the that? WWE? Being yeah. in the WWE. I mean, he brings eyeballs. His contract's up apparently, so I don't know if they're Ooh. gonna give him the win. I don't know. Ooh. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I have a feeling tonight he might win though, because he's lost like what, maybe two, two, three last fights. So I feel like now. No, it's, no, it's he lost. To, he did like the Roman Reigns title match in the Saudi Arabia show, but he beat like the Miz at SummerSlam or something, oh, and then he won at WrestleMania. I'm pretty sure. And then he was in the Royal Rumble, threw him out. Uh, Seth Rollins. Mm-hmm. Um, Definitely. But yeah, he had that cool spot. I don't know if you <laughs> oh, saw that. Oh, that was crazy. The the jump. Yeah, Boom. with Ricochet. He said, yeah. He said oh, tonight's gonna be in crazier, and they leaked his like intro. He's gonna like come in from the sky or some shit. Really? It got leaked. Damn, no, I didn't even know that. But uh, yeah, dude. Um, I don't know pro wrestling. It's uh, my buddy got me back into it because like I train. I do not to like flex. Watch out. I do Muay Thai and jits. Watch out. Damn. Watch okay. out. Um, but jiu-jitsu? I do. Yeah. Okay. Jits and Muay Thai. Blue belt jiu jitsu. So you Shout could, out. You could beat her ass. Though. You watch a lot of UFC. <laughs> I do. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty. Can, like I'm, I'm familiar with what's going on. Izzy yeah. Pereira next week. Mm-hmm. That's yep. that's a big fight. Pereira, got- Pereira. I got Pereira. Pereira. This is gonna age funny, but yeah. uh, if I'm right, I I do think Pereira is gonna win. Shout out to Izzy. He's been a great champ. I've been a fan of him for a long time. But Call I don't. Pereira's gonna all the, all the like the groundwork and all that stuff. Um, the grappling. He's gonna have more time to close the gap. He's got Glover full time now. Mm-hmm. Um, I just. <laughs> On the feet. I don't know if you're like. Familiar. I don't know why I'm saying mm-hmm if I don't know anything. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just move on from I'm my going, like nerding I'm, I'm out going, over like mm-hmm, pro wrestling and mm-hmm. call him Mystic Mac because he predicts these things. I predict these things. I got Pereira, let's say round <laughs> three KO. There you go. Wait, what about uh, Conor McGregor? I don't. He's I know back. about him. He's coming back, right? He's when? back, but he's not in the USADA testing pool. He's doing the Ultimate oh, Fighter thing, right? He's Coach doing the Ultimate Fighter, Fighter with Michael Chandler, yeah. And then yeah. they're supposed to fight. But what Chandler. are what are what is Our Michael Chandler? <laughs> the ultimate, you, what, what's the Ultimate? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, well, what what are his, his most like common or like most famous so statements? He said there's uh, yeah Conor McGregor. Who the F most is that guy to Jeremy Stevens at UFC 205? Yeah, what are some things he said again? Who the, who the fuck is that yeah, guy? Yeah, is that one? There's fuck that. the Mayweather's. Yeah, there's <laughs> that. that there's that. Uh, Fucking there's uh, no, so Fook the here. Mayweather. People always say like tree, give me tree rounds because they can, you can't say <laughs> yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what else is there, dude? That's there's classic, fucking, uh, man. Uh, um, this classic. is not a therapy session. He said that when he used up to the therapy hose. session. Yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, what is I don't know I'm blanking I'm uh, not fucking leaving no that's Wolf no, no when he's Wolf. like uh, <laughs> yeah, there's like another one that's like good uh, when now he was talking with Chad Mendez and he's like uh, he's like how tall are you he's like I'm 5'6 Connor's like no you're 5'4 I can rest my balls on your forehead oh. there's that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that was for like the yeah, interim the, featherweight title fight. Connor had to be the best shit talker dude he's, oh, the, yeah. he's the best uh, shit talker in MMA history ever yeah man he was great uh, maybe was, Chael Sonnen was, was he better. the best fighter ever? No, 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 no. 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 He's not even top 10. Khabib showed him out, eh? John Jones? What's the guy's name? Oh, he came back. Yeah, Jones is the GOAT. <laughs> he fucking beat the guy in 30 seconds. Ooh. And he wants to have a beer after. <laughs> Thanks for no, the no, no, no. You can't. You can't. You don't, you, don't give, you don't give John Jones. John Jones, you know. John Jones is John Jones' biggest enemy. Or, uh, oh, yeah. He's had some like, drug stuff yeah, in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot. A lot. I don't know so, why I'm laughing with that. He fought Sorry Daniel Cormier. Uh, he's, he's, like, the line was oh, like, yeah, I, I beat you that. after a weekend of cocaine going into the second fight. Yeah, he like, got caught doing all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. He's, he's yeah. Don't John Jones around anything. But is he like, you think he's the GOAT? I think you got to say he's the GOAT at this point. Jones. Jones yep. is the GOAT, yeah. There you have it. He's, you know, champ in two weight divisions, made
youngest champ ever, I want to say. Yeah, he's got to be. He beat Shogun in what, like 23, 24, something Damn. like that. Yeah. Joseph what about Go. Khabib? Khabib's Overrated crazy. legacy. Hot take. Ooh. Clip. The, you can clip this. You want a clip? You want some TikTok <laughs> views? Habib's legacy is overrated. What? Overrated. What? Habib's what? legacy is overrated. The, the thing that Habib did right is he retired at the perfect time. He Ooh. retired at the top. So there's a level of mystery. People will speculate for the rest of time, for the rest of, you know, the history of MMA that, mm. oh, he could have beat everybody. He could have beat this guy. He could have went up to 170. He could have beat Usman. He could have been there. But guess what? He didn't. Ooh. But it doesn't matter because he retired. So he made, he made them, he makes people miss them. Ooh. Okay. Let's yeah. see what the Habib's legacy, that. Habib's legacy is overrated. Here's why. He's got 13 fights in the UFC. Okay, okay. He never, he never got scratched. He never got touched. He didn't do enough. He has three title wins. His three title wins, or no, he has four title wins. One was against Ally Aquinta. Granted, there's the whole Conor McGregor situation. Tony Ferguson got injured. Uh, Max Holloway wasn't there. Okay. He fights Ally Aquinta. Num ranked number 11 wins the belt. Then he fights Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, striker. Okay, at the time, big fight. Hasn't aged well. Mm -hmm. Then he fights Dustin Poirier. Okay, striker. And I, again, pr pr Primarily a boxer, not a wrestler. Yeah. Justin Gaethje, striker. He, he dispatched of all of these guys very fast, faster than anybody, but his legacy is overrated. Now, where is George St. Pierre versus Khabib? That's never going to happen. Both guys are retired. Khabib's yeah. done completely. <laughs> Khabib's like, he's, he doesn't coach Who MMA anymore. Who would have won that fight, dude? In their, in their primes? Got to go with the boy from Montreal. You got to go with GSP. 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 You got to go with GSP. GSP. That's just that's just on principle for being Canadian. But that would have yeah. been a GSP is just agita. Sorry. <laughs> you never really see too many Canadians up there anymore. Right? He was like the um, top guy. who do you have right now? I mean, you got Charles Jordan. He's there. I think I heard of that. I've seen him. I think. Times. I think Hakeem Daudu mm. is from Calgary. Um, Elias Theodoru, rest in peace. He was Canadian. Um, Tanner Bozer, I believe, is Canadian. He's at heavyweight right now. There's more. There's got to be Canadian somewhere. Dope, dope. No, there's there's a good amount. What about Chaz Michael Michaels? I don't know who that is. Uh, I don't know who that is too. It sounds familiar, but is that like a bit? I don't. No, no. I just. I just <laughs> <Chaz> <laughs> I, I've never Michaels. heard of that. No, I've never heard of that. <laughs> That's Blades of Glory. That. Yeah. <laughs> Blades of Glory. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, that movie. Yeah, yeah actually, you know that. what? You know what? Don't clip that Habib thing. Yeah. Don't make. Oh, it no, no, I'm we're, gonna we're get. Clipping it. We're clipping it. I didn't we're articulate clipping. my argument as good as I wanted to, so I'm gonna get absolutely torched. Damn. I'm gonna get absolutely torched. Oh, we're Do not clip that Habib. Oh, we're clipping it. You're clipping it. Oh man. That's the best clip so far. I think. Is it? Habib's uh, legacy is overrated. Any other Damn. hot takes? Any other hot takes? Um, Damn, I'm blanking here. Let's see. Um, like, what's what something that pisses you off? Like, pet peeves of mine? Yeah, yeah. I don't like when people start conversations for me from the side of my head. Like, 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 like right no, no, like if somebody's like, hey, gents, man, how are you? And I gotta, oh, like, yeah, go like, yeah, 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 yeah. it's just awkward. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, just, it's like a whisper. I don't know. I have, like, a weird thing with, like, uh, we should go to St. Phillips. <laughs> I, I don't know. I got a weird thing with, like, uh, Space, you know, I like having yeah, it's okay. space. Like this is good because I can like Perfect see you. But if somebody scene, starts yeah. a conversation for me, I gotta, like yeah, 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 it's just weird. It's awkward. Yeah. Like and then yeah. they're close to you, they're breathing on you. Know, right. I don't like when people start conversations from here. Y'all know about kick? No, I don't know what that is. That Damn. that's the one that Aiden uh, Aiden, Aiden Ross got signed by. I almost said Aiden Skira. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Skira, so yeah. you've done some stuff for Skira too. Yeah, right? yeah, that was a better yeah. That there was, you go. That was, that was good. a better that was transition. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I've known him for a while. Three years. Yeah, something like that. Three years, three and a bit. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I did. We did the or I like during the pandemic. Um, I did like his first music video. It's kind of a rubbish video. I'm not a videographer. I'm more. I'm much more used to photography. I've done some photo shoots with him, but you know, it's a cute little moment to look back on. Like I was a part of this guy's. Uh, he's now signed. It's a yep. big deal. Yep. Um, and mm -hmm. I was like a small component of him. You know, getting to that level. I like to think I did a photo shoot with him. Um, I had him on the pod when I was running that. Yeah, yeah, he's a good dude. I'm very happy for him. Happy he's doing well. Mm -hmm. Um, big things coming. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you hear a little noise out there, it's just the dog scratching. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just yeah. regard that. Um, you won't hear it. Lovely, lovely little guy. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> yeah. So have you done like album covers for him too yet? Or no, song? I have haven't done that. Uh, he does his own art. That's the yeah, thing. That's he's true. got his yeah, own style. I don't want to like impede on that in any yeah. way. That's his thing. If he were to ever approach me, gladly. I did. I did I don't, he posted it on his Instagram. I think like. We had we were gonna do like a collab back in the day, like during the podcast, like a Red Bubble, like Aiden Skier X C F Y merch collab. Yeah. I have a shirt design that like I gifted him. I don't know if anything will ever come of that T shirt design. I think it's really cool. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, I might have seen. Uh, it. 
Um, but like speaking of that too, like we have our own yeah, we do uh, merch, merch and stuff. So yeah. who knows? Maybe hey, you can work together. Down, in the that'd be a sick yeah, collab. yeah. Um, and even fucking speaking of like songs and shit, I don't know if we ever announced this on the pod, but I think we've kind of mentioned like we were thinking of doing an unmastered album at one point. We definitely want to get like people who do like design Especially and for stuff covers, like that. Yeah, for album covers. So if you'd be down for that too, yeah, yeah, yeah most definitely. Shit. I think the merch would be cool. I'd like to collab on merch. <clears throat> yeah, that'd yeah. be dope. That'd um, be cool. We just started that sort of recently. So are you guys doing that yourself? Like you make everything yeah. yourself? Yeah, we'll show you later we have yeah. the, the press got the, i have a that. press in my basement yeah. oh sick okay cool. do you use like vinyl like yeah, yeah yeah cricket yeah. it's a pain yeah, yeah. you gotta peel everything <laughs> yeah. like you got then there's like a little dot that you gotta get rid of so it doesn't yeah. press onto the Dude, like, yeah, there's it's a times where like i've missed like a dot and then you press it and you're like oh yeah oh. but then you know that's just you've spent like it's a lot of money for the shirt and the vinyl and yeah. the effort of cutting it and pressing it so you're just kind of like i guess this is the shirt now but the, yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah it's hard to get everything perfect consistently when you're doing like t-shirts like that yeah so guys maybe stay tuned for an anti antiquated, unmastered box merch drop. That's yeah. boom, boom. We're thinking of some new designs for the summer since the weather's getting better now. So who knows? Maybe we'll have a collab definitely going. We'll see. Could be cool. That's cool. I'd like that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, man. Sure. Um, get a get a small little cut. You guys can. You guys can have a heyday making it. Yeah. 50, I'll just 50. Be like, <laughs> or who knows? Maybe we'll do, donate somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. That could be cool. But yeah, dude. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, have there you? Uh, Going back to the art stuff, um, have you uh, looked into maybe getting some pieces potentially into like a smaller museum to start like off? Like art galleries you, and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. Galleries. Um, not so much not so much galleries and stuff. I don't know. I'm still building out. I'd rather have like people buy my art and have it be like a part of their homes and stuff like that. I've had yeah. a lot of... Jesus Christ. The agenda. <laughs> it's just, um, <laughs> this is unprofessional. I'm no, trying my best. I'm trying my best. Get this man a Tums what did now. You what did you I had like an egg bagel, like a small oh, little thing. Yeah, 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 but it was like yeah. a Parmesan bagel. Oh, oh the My Parmesan. mom was hyping them up. She's like, I just bought them. Let me know if you like them. I'm like, yeah. okay. Oh. I should have taken a Tums. Tum, 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 tum. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You know what? You should, pod. if you guys are going to clip anything, just for clip the. All every ad. Every ad. Every ad. He's got ad. Yeah. Again. He's got ad. Like that. That'd be, that'd be funny. The Habib yeah. stuff, I didn't articulate my yeah. argument that well. I'm not that composed. Um, Still coming out. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> no. It's going to be like a million views on it. Yeah, Everyone's going to be like, this idiot doesn't know what he's talking about. Hey. Stick to WWE. Oh, this guy doesn't know real that's fighting. That's what gets views. Stick to the fake shit, but is the UFC fake too? No. Oh. Sorry, what was the question? Galleries? No. Get, getting back to that. So don't get off tangent. Galleries, I haven't like really approached. I want to do my own art show in the summer. I have a location of mine and like an agreement. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I have like the volume of art, like at least canvases right now to mm -hmm. pull off an art show. But I think like... Mid to late August, I want to do an art show in Vaughn. Very cool, dude. Yeah, that would be dope. Okay, I got a question. So yeah. on the painting, it says Holly Weird. Yeah. So do you have any like conspiracy theories you believe in? Or? Conspiracy? <laughs> uh, no, I just think like fame is a weird thing. Hollywood has like an interesting reputation. You never heard I of think that though, playing Hollywood? on that. No, I've heard of it. Yeah. So yeah, I, mean, it's I, just you, like, I thought you said he, uh, you were thinking he came up with it. No, 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 it's not like, no, at all. It's that? just like a play on, uh, you know, a common like, like almost like a mockery of fame or the desire to be famous as I'm wearing sunglasses on a podcast. <laughs> um, very uh, ironic, <laughs> yeah. if that's the correct word. But yeah, my block in the Hollywood. There it is. Yeah. Uh, it's just like a play on fame and stuff. I, something cheeky I've done in a couple of my pieces. I did it on a mural I did for Render Media a while ago, like a small media, it's not small, pretty big now, media production company out of Vaughn. Like mm -hmm. I did a mural mm -hmm. for them. It's just almost like a motif of my work at this point. Cool. Just playing on that yeah, like yeah, yeah. lust for fame. Yeah, have definitely. you been to Hollywood? No, no. You you definitely want to go though, right? Or just I gotta uh, check it out at least one point in my life. You know, yeah. yeah. See what's up with it. Like Make the sure Illuminati my, uh, thing you got there. What Illuminati? There's no Illuminati. Where? Like the uh, pyramid and the eye. <laughs> pyramid and the eye. Yeah, yeah, what Illuminati? You work for them or? No, 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 no. I don't. It's just. <laughs> what been, you know about that? <laughs> it's like a parody of um, the weirdness in our world. I think that's yeah, what you can call this. Like okay. it's. It's almost an absurd image. That's you got like fire, the, you got the CN dude. Tower, though. You got like dope. the damaged CN Tower and everything. It's Represent just like Toronto, yeah. a yeah, heightened yeah, yeah. look at like an apocalyptic world in an almost like satirical way. This could be the world in 2016. And a mastered podcast is like the main show in that world. Maybe he's speaking the future right now. Like 2060, though the world might be like yeah. in a rot, bad place. I'm actually like an oracle from uh, 2060 who's come back in time to tell the world that Unmastered is the biggest podcast in Wait, the world. Wait, what? Holy shit, he's, master, from the, he's from the future. I'm, the, I'm from the future, actually, what? yeah. I could actually see that happening. That's why I had to I have to cover my eyes because my eyeballs. You see the way this like, world's going, guys. Yeah. We're sticking yeah. to the basics. 
So we're going to be the saviors in the future. Yeah. When yeah. everything's yeah. crumbling down, they'll be like, guys, at least we have unmastered. Everyone will result to this like a, it's almost going to be like a fucking year school, your schooling. You're going to be like, oh my God, I'm master yeah, posted. I got to yeah. learn new things because yeah. this world's going to You have to, to memorize to the shit. themes of today's, you have to write yeah. summations about yeah. the the unmastered. There's ghosts and stuff. There's ghosts. Stuff. That, that's like, Ooh. when I'm stressed out, my mom will be like, it looks like you've just seen a ghost. So that's kind of. And then you put that into the yeah. art. Yeah. It's like, kids see ghosts sometimes, spirits. You know that yeah. song? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm course, familiar yeah. with that. Okay. I, have, I actually have the kids see ghost CD. My, oh same yeah I, I got it with the merch i got it like really the, the i don't heavy. have the merch but i do have the cd and yeah. i have the Yeezus cd the like oh, the that's clear one hard i know he's not i got it in 2018 but do you own a pair of Yeezys? no you i used to buy fake Yeezys in grade six I back in the day Yeezys. i used to buy and everyone would be like are they real and i'd be like yeah. <laughs> i had the ones at the light up you know, the the, oh no oh, bro. Bro. that's that's oh, like that's that's, that's that's going off the deep end that's yeah. like that's there's no class there Damn. Yeah, but I would awful. I would get the I had like a really fake pair of seven fifties. Like they were oh, like okay. ridiculous. But the three fifties I had, the pirate black three fifties oh, I got in grade six. Blacks. I was like, I was almost convinced they're real. I'm like, they look so real. Did anyone ever like say like those are fake? Are you told them? No, I'd be like, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, don't worry. Yeah. I got They look I real enough. Guy. You could kind of like see the glue spot on the tip on the like oh, the tip yeah, of the yeah, 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 But yeah. I never owned a pair though, yeah. I'm I was kind of, I was, I was pretty much, I was like a sneakerhead in like grade six and seven, yeah, like not a very too. good yeah, sneakerhead. Yeah. Too, like, I never I like allocated enough money at a time to like buy a yeah, nice yeah, pair of shoes, yeah. but I had like a cool pair of like the retro Sauconies. I had like these lime green fuggly pair of uh, Ultra Boosts that I got on yeah, sale yeah. that were oh, pretty yeah, cool. Classic Ultra Boosts. Yeah. 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 You used to get a lot too, right? You yeah. yeah. Me, and, me and my brother would just like make my mom buy his shoes. That's pretty much but what like, it was. I hated how I did that though, because I was in like grade six and got like all these Jordans and shit. Now those don't even fit me yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's like, almost better. It's better to be a sneaker now. But now I'm like into yeah. vans and just like keeping it simple. Vans make her dance. Oh, no, yeah, vans, vans. Vans are a nice. Little I like pair. vans. I used to like the white vans because I used to like customize them too a little bit. Yeah. You, have you ever no, like, tried I've to never, customize them? No, shoes? I just think that I don't know. You got to do it right. There's yeah. some people. There's a girl on TikTok. She makes like, um, like dioramas or like sculptures out of sneakers mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. She made one for like NWN. I think that's cool. But a lot of the time when the people get like white Air Forces and they draw on it, I think it can be like can look a bit cheap at times yeah. so i just try to like stay away from that just yeah. rather focus on a canvas or yeah. something i think the popular guy who does that is like marco is his name he does like all the shoes for all the fucking oh, okay. influence yeah so you whatever. so you wouldn't do custom custom kicks then or you would Ever? i'm not Maybe. i'm not not open to it but i just think that's not i've never tried it but i just think that i don't know if that would be my strong suit yeah. and I also like it's you like you could do some fire shit man maybe maybe know. but it's also like I don't know. There's like utility to shoes. People mm -hmm. got to wear them and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and if you like right. mess it up, that's like a mm -hmm, $90 sure. mess yeah, up. Yeah, but thing. yeah, yeah. you got a good point. But also I kind of feel like when it's like that, when it's an art piece, you kind of just want to like grail it. It'd be sick to have a shoe right? just like with all these fucking things. Yeah, all over the maybe. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know. I would have to think about approaching it. And you also need like special um, paint. With paint, for yeah, 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 yeah. I think, I think some people just do it with Posca pens, yeah. but I'm not okay. sure. Maybe yeah. it's something I'll look into. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do like a basketball or I was, I want to do like weird, Abby more, sick. like a way. Yeah, yeah. I want to do like a table, something like this. Mm. Like, uh, hey, if you want to do the table, <laughs> nah, that's overkill. It. I don't want it to be like too graffiti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. um, I think the camps is a the, nice, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah. just it's big enough, but like not, it doesn't interfere with anything. Yeah, that's what she said. Um, <laughs> oh my, um, yeah, that was horrible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but in terms of like weird stuff I want to do art on, like a basketball net is something I want to do. Like have like this the piece on a basketball yeah. net, like a oh, backboard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would be hard. Um, dude. Even like on the court itself, oh, if you could God. scale yeah, it up. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That would be crazy. I don't know if crazy. anybody would allow me to do that. Maybe in yeah, a couple of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. But okay, speaking of a couple of years, um, what's the plan? What's the five year plan, five ten year, year plan, plan. <laughs> uh, whatever? I don't, know if, I don't know if life is so, like I said, so fragile, yeah. so delicate. You never know what's going to happen. You just got to yeah. like hope for the best and pray for the best. And God willing, everything you dream for comes true with like consistent effort and hard work and all that stuff. But um, I want to do, I want to be an Art Basel Miami. Like I want, mm. I would like Boy, to be a part like of a that. That's a big show, right? Or yeah, it's like the most like opulent, like crazy, colorful, vibrant, some might say like to an extent meaningless art. Mm. It's just fun. It's okay. just, the, when I look at the art that's in, ba in Art Basel, it's just like, this is just the embodiment of like fun. And I want to be a part of that. That's mm. cool, man. In some way, whether that's like in being in it or like a part of the week or something like that. But I want to be part of Art Basel. I want to have my I, c I feel like this is something I could do within the next couple of months, but an art show and just invite like all my friends and stuff, mm -hmm. um, creatives, people who inspire me, people who have like 
allowed me to get to this point. People I'm grateful for. Do an art show. Um, expand the t-shirts. Like have a fully functioning website yeah, that okay. runs with t-shirts and stuff like that. The mm-hmm. streetwear. Um, I want to have... I, I would like to have a mural in the UK. I'd be sad. Yeah. I would like to have a mural in the UK. That's very specific. Why the UK? Something. It's cool. I like yeah? it. Yeah, okay. Just the vibe to it. I like in, international, something cool. Yeah, something yeah. international. Um, yeah. I'd yeah. like a mural... Am I in Vaughn? I want for sure. And like, this is like a long term goal I have, but I have an interest in like art galleries. One of the projects I'm working on right now for schools, like designing an art gallery in an area of Toronto, Mm -hmm. like site evaluation, like picking it and then building up from there. Uh, I think Vaughn needs more. Like, I'm very passionate about like making Vaughn like a hub of something, like yeah. a cultural hub, giving it more identity. Cause right now it's like you have condos, 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 but like, what are the, what's the point of those condos? If there's like no meaning to the city, yeah, you're right. just making it a place for, li- for people to live. So long-term goal, I want to be a part of like creating an, a like serious, legitimate, respected art gallery for Vaughn. That's, That's very sick. cool, man. Yeah. Like the Vaughn Institute of Contemporary Art or something like that. Mm-hmm. The Julian Gentile. No, Vaughn. no, my name doesn't have to be a part of it. No, no, that's too egotistical. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I wanna. I would like to be a part of like making an art gallery for Vaughn. Mm-hmm. That'd be dope. That's awesome. Man. Like ambitious. my art doesn't even have to be a part of it. Maybe I design the building. Who knows? But yeah. Um, or maybe I like consult the design process of it, or like I spearhead it getting done. That's why he's taking architecture. He's learning how to make the building. Yes, it's all gonna come together. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, the interest in like. I would just I would play like a ton of Minecraft during the pandemic, and then like one day I had a dream and I woke up and I was like, "Architecture is the language of the world." And I was like, "Okay." Whoa, there yeah. you go. I was like, "Thank God yeah. for Minecraft." Yeah, My- yeah Minecraft was that was a pretty good game, man. Like, it taught like people how to build houses. It's the game, essentially. It's yeah. the game. I wonder what the most popular game ever was. I think it is Minecraft. Minecraft. Minecraft's got to be like Minecraft. It's got the te- mobile. It's got the light. Yeah. Minecraft that Tetris or Flappy is up Bird. there. Yeah. No, Flappy Bird. <laughs> Flappy Bird came and went. Came uh, and went. I don't know if like Fortnite's up there now. It's a pretty maybe. I don't know. My brother still plays Fortnite. I've never. I'm not a big video game guy. I don't yeah. know. I, it's Minecraft for me and Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Those are the two games mm-hmm. that I played. Jetpack Joyride. Oh, that was the game. You know what? I'm a crazy. Run. You know what? Every time, like, every day, I commute to school. I'm like, I'm a Subway Surfers fiend. Oh uh, yeah, I think that's a popular oh. one too. Actually, Subway yeah, it's got like a billion one. plus Candy downloads. Candy Crush. If I showed well, you Candy my Candy Crush, thing's number one. If I showed you my like Subway Surfer score. It, I don't know. It might like disturb you. Mm, fuck. Fuck. Temple One, is that even like an app on the store anymore? Or they took it down. Oh, they know. got it. It's still around, oh, but like Subway Surfers. Subway Surfers. And then, Subway and Surfers then the is monkey just chases better. you. Is that what? Yeah. Is that a part of it? Yeah, yeah. like the gorilla comes <laughs> after yeah, you or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Like some weird monster. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's crazy. And Subway Surfers is just a large security guard that comes after you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't That's just the Fortnite voice. But our yeah, that was the Fortnite. Hey, what? All right, we're kind of reaching <laughs> that. That is right getting here. clipped. We'll be back. Uh, we'll be back. So, uh, you never really thought of maybe potentially filming your artwork, your process of it, and posting that on the channel. I think that would be a dope thing to do. Yeah, I've thought about doing time lapses. It's just a matter of like doing it, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. And also, like, it's like very non linear when I make a canvas. It'll be like, it's not like one shot go. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, time lapse is something I wanted to do. I, I wanted to like. I had an idea for like Christmas break that never got done, but I wanted to like set up a table in random places downtown and like sell my stickers for charity with my buddy who dresses up as Spider Man, like drawing mm-hmm. attention. I'd be sick. Yeah. That's a good idea, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, so any final words for the people? Final words for the people. Habib's legacy is overrated. Um, <laughs> uh, no, nah, I'm just being playful. Respect to Habib. You're yeah. not the goat, though. Um, Azbula. Um, <laughs> Yeah, he's the goat. <laughs> um, the goat bro. I hope you guys like enjoyed the episode. I hope this was like one of the better ones you've done. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lots um, I hope people enjoy my art. I hope I sounded remotely eloquent today. Follow my Instagram at yep. anti antiquated. That is A N T I A N T I Q U A T E D. Hopefully you I spelled it. that right. Antiquated. Yeah. Anti antiquated. Uh, it was a pleasure coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Watch Unmastered. You heard him. Watch him mastered. Look at my stuff. Look at his Big stuff. stuff to come. Hopefully I can do an art show this year. But yeah, definitely follow the Instagram. Yeah. Um, and follow the Instagram. Yeah, That's for sure. We say. appreciate yeah, you coming on. Definitely Thank you for having had me. some fun conversations. Hope you guys can learn a bit about this. Upcoming artists out there. Get inspiration from this guy. Like this beautiful art piece he made beautiful. for us. Beautiful. Thank you again, bro. We appreciate it a lot. 
Um, hey, it's great. Thank you so much for um, coming on, man. Thank you and, for the uh, art. Yeah, his stuff is all linked down below, guys. So go check it out. Check go it follow out. Him. Order a piece of, uh, you know, art, art. for him, DM me, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, yeah. Got some new stuff coming in the future. Maybe we'll work with him again. Yeah. Uh, it's possible merch possible designs. Merch if designs. he does like one of these event things, we'll go there. Maybe yes, we'll film maybe it we'll film it. Yeah. Yeah. So make sure you hit the subscribe button here, guys. Drop a like on the video. Boom, comment. Boom, 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 go boom. check out Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all that stuff. Drop five-star reviews and everything. Audible. Um, we're everywhere, guys. Totti's scratching that door, so it's time to go. But uh, we'll see you guys next time. See you, see you next episode. Thank you. Peace. Peace.